Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Cave Platypus, and today we're going to be checking out the Jurassic World Epic Evolution Mission Mayhem truck set. So, before we get started on anything, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, because as I'm sure you noticed when you clicked on this video, I have officially reached 50 subscribers. Which, of course, means that I will be doing a special 50k, or not 50k, god, I, I hope to reach 50k eventually, but just 50, 50 sub review. Leave comments on what you'd like to see. I've got a pretty, not super expensive, but I got a fair collection, so it's probably going to be a review of a figure I already own, so stay tuned for that. If you'd rather it be a new review, that's fine too. But with all that being said, I'll just check out this. So the package art is, you know, the same. Apart from, you know, it's massive because there's a truck <laughs> and this cool looking claw, which I'm excited to play around with. As you can see, I'm I'm assuming the dinosaur, the Ineosaurus, is part of the swamp biome, but I, I totally love to think that this truck is from the swamp. But you can see it's got some features that are going to be played around with later. This little hatch opens. Flip around to the back, you can see a showcase of all the features. You can flip the truck over with the Enosaurus. That comes off over there. You can grab him with a little claw. Also a little showcase of the... It's not the Wild Roar. Epic Attack, maybe? But it's the Caprasugas, the Guiabasaurus, Tuajungasaurus, and Velociraptor. Now, I do actually have the Capro, which you saw in the Poposaurus review, and I have the Guiabasaurus. I'm getting the Tuajungo here soon, and this Velociraptor, honestly, I have no interest in, but let me know if you want me to get it just for completion. But I think that's enough to say about the box, so let's go on and bust it out. All right, and with that out of the packaging, it does come disassembled, first thing to note. So this little claw, if you want to, you're just gonna wanna take this claw, this little rectangle right here, pop it into here, and it'll result in this pretty, look, pretty cool looking capture truck, I guess. The claw, I guess, I guess we get to truck articulation here. The claw can open about that wide. Hands are in the way about that wide. It does start to bend if you go a little further, but it is technically able to go a tiny bit further. Um, this little hatch here is a showcase can open, revealing a little bit of interior. This front bed here can pop off, revealing some pretty nicely sculpted seats. And a little steering wheel, a little center console there. It's pretty cool. I actually like this. I hadn't actually been interested in any of the vehicle sets until I saw this one on Amazon, and I was like, eh, why not? But, and there's one more thing, of course, I gotta show you, which is this little suspiciously indented button right here. If you press that, the truck launches over, because it's got this little, little arm thing at the bottom. When you push that button, it releases causing the truck to flip over. I believe you're supposed to, you know, the Ineosaurus, you're supposed to... Wham! But I mean, I don't know how a little guy like this does so much damage to a big old truck. A big old little military truck, actually, if you look at it. Now, if we get into the painting and sculpt of the truck, I love the little claw marks on the hood here. Uh, obviously the damage on that, little claw marks there. A lot of claw marks in this thing. It leads you to believe that this guy's really been through a lot. And in case you're wondering, I do believe you can, in fact, fit a person in it pretty decently. Of course, it looks like, you know, little Darius Bowman here is in a little convertible, but... You can pop the hood back on, pop the, little, pop the little roll cage with the spotlights, and wham, I guess Darius Bowman here is ready to, ready to go capture some dinosaurs. So let me just show you how the little capture claw works. You just kind of go 
lid and then you can pick them up. It's got these serrated teeth on it so it can actually hold it pretty well. It's got decent grip strength. Of course, the tires roll very good. They're not rubber, they are plastic, but honestly, that's not too much of an issue. Now, of course, what you're all probably really here for is the Eniosaurus. At least that's what I got this for. So the sculpting and the painting on this thing are beautiful. I love the little splashes of, splash of yellow on the frill. The horn, if it, if it focuses. Horn's all weathered. Looks pretty awesome. Beautiful shade of green here going into the gray on the head. And the sculpt is pretty nice too. Like, it looks pretty fairly good for a mainline Enosaurus. I don't know if we've gotten an Enosaurus before this. I don't know if this is a remold or a repaint. Let me know in the comments if you know better. But of course, for a size comparison, got our human comparison here, with JB3 Ellen Grant. And I believe that scales pretty well. I'm pretty sure Enosaurus was a smaller Ceratopsian. Got my last review, the Epic Evolution Poposaurus. They scale pretty well together. For a larger Ceratopsian review, we got here the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Nice addition to a little mixed Ceratopsian herd. And of course, speaking of Ceratopsians, we have here the Epic Evolution of a Ceratops. A little smaller than him. Not by a whole lot. Of course, for articulation, he has got a ball joint here at the head so he can look about that far before his horns get caught in his leg. Look that far. Got a little hinge here. He can go up about that way, go down about that far. The tails, of course, can do, the tail can do a 360. The leg can go back pretty much touching his frill. So, again, don't know why you'd pose him like that, but the option is there. You can go forward before it's kicking the front leg about, yeah, you can actually go as far as the front leg can allow it to. And the front leg can go forward, not that far, unless you move the head out of the way, in which case it can go a tiny bit further. It can go back, not at all. <laughs> I actually can go back a little bit, but that doesn't feel very good. <laughs> and, of course, the little QR code right here. So if you're using the app, it is nice. And side note, I love the little osteoderms in his back. Basically everything in this line has had, like, scoots or osteoderms, and I really like them. They look really good. Piercing little beady guy. But honestly, with that being said, guys, that's probably gonna about wrap it up for my review of the Epic Evolution Mission Mayhem truck set. So if you liked it, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you again for 50 subs, 51 at last I checked. But I'll be doing a special video probably either tonight or tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, and have a good night. See you all later.